Hi everybody, um, I'm Ruth and today I'm going to be uploading a video that teaches you how to coach yourself through um, <coughs> a difficult or uncomfortable feeling. So we're going to use the tapping technique, emotional freedom technique, which I know um, I've been through briefly on a video before. So a lot of you who have worked with me or work with me every week will know the tapping sequence. Um, but I will run through it again in this um, in this recording just so that just to remind you or if you haven't used it before just to teach you how to use that so what we're going to do is we are going to try and process a feeling that we don't like so to begin with I want you to think of a feeling that you might have sometimes that you want to get rid of so it could be anxiety it could be anger um, it could be feeling worried about something or sad and when you've thought of that feeling um, we're going to try and and this might be quite uncomfortable for some of you so if you think actually no I don't want to do that because that's just a little bit too hard for me at the moment if you're you know if you're feeling quite quite vulnerable or if you're feeling over anxious and you you're just not ready to face up to some of the um, really really tough feelings that's absolutely fine you might not want to do this one but if you're thinking actually I'm ready I'm ready to get rid of this feeling then let's do it so once you've thought of your feeling that you are ready to get rid of that you're ready to process you are going to think quite deeply about it and think about the situations that you are in when this feeling comes up for you the most so it could be that you feel anxious um, I don't know, going into school or it could be that you feel angry when somebody asks you to do something if there are any grown-ups watching this your feelings are probably going to be a little bit different so you would do the same thing you would think to yourself when do I get this emotion and um, what situations bring it out the most for me so I want you to really explore that feeling and really get to the bottom of it and it might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable and that's okay because we're going to do the tapping while we do that so when you've got your uncomfortable feeling in your mind and you're thinking about when you feel like that you're going to use the tapping technique so I'm going to move in a little closer so we tap on the side of our hand and it can go either way because they are symmetrical um, so we're going to be thinking about the feeling and I'm going to teach you how to coach yourselves through it so to get rid of an uncomfortable feeling the next one is on top of your head the crown of your head so to get rid of feelings that we don't like we need to face them so we are going to be thinking about the feeling and you might say to yourself you're going to be talking yourself through it so we're coaching through this process so you might say to yourself I feel really anxious when I have to go into busy places and my heart starts to race and I get really hot and my face burns so you're really thinking of how your body feels when you're in that uncomfortable situation and the next one is under your arm just there and then we're going to keep going around so you're going to be thinking of those uncomfortable feelings that you might get in your body when you feel that emotion because our feelings give off a physiological response they give off a response in our body and we often will physically feel those emotions so I'm going to talk through as if I am in that situation so I'm going to use my example of flying so I used to be very anxious about flying on an aeroplane not flying in general because I can't fly personally it's just on an airplane so I'm going to talk through how that felt for me and we're going to be tapping through the whole sequence as we go so I felt I feel really anxious when I get on an airplane and I'm, I'm talking um, present tense as if I do still have that feeling which I don't because I've worked through it but just for your example I'm going to talk through as if I actually still feel anxious so you would do the same you would talk through your feeling 
as if you are actually feeling it in the moment. So I'll continue. I feel really anxious when I get on an aeroplane. I feel closed in. I feel like I can't escape if I need to. I start to get really anxious. I start to feel really, really warm. And sometimes I feel like I can't breathe because I am so worried. And then you might want to talk about what it is you're worried about. I'm worried that um, we might crash. I'm worried that um, I'm worried about dying on an aeroplane. Um, I'm worried because uh, I don't have any control over the situation and whatever happens is completely out of my control and I don't like that feeling. So we're going to think really deeply about your feelings. So maybe it is feeling out of control that could be the bottom of your fear. In this case, I would say that's probably the case. So then you're going to keep going. And I feel really anxious at the thought of getting on an aeroplane. And I feel like I can't breathe at the thought of being trapped. And you are going to keep going. And this is quite an uncomfortable process. So you're going to keep going and you're going to keep tapping until you start to feel a bit of a shift. You start to feel a bit of calm. And when that happens, so it might take quite a while for some of you, it depends how deep rooted your feeling is. When you start to feel a bit better, you are going to coach yourself into thinking differently. So this is exactly what I did at the thought of um, flying. So then I would, I would shift my thinking and I would say, but actually, I, I know I'm safe and I actually really love the sound of the engine when it gets really loud and I love how fast the aeroplane goes and I love how high, how we're just completely detached from everywhere and we are above the whole planet and we get an amazing view and I love to look down and just see the planet beneath me and I feel really safe and calm, just being distant from everything for a little while. And I love trusting other people to take care of me. And I trust that I am safe. And I love the feeling of being nice and cosy in a space where I am far away from everything and I don't need to think about anything. There's nothing for me to think about other than just being where I am and enjoying that space all to myself. So you're going to basically change your mind. You're going to give yourself positive thoughts. And the positive thoughts that I gave myself were the opposite of what I really truly felt. So I would say things like, I love how loud the engine is. I, I love how, how fast it goes and how high up I am and how I am basically trusting someone else to take care of me. And all of those things were very, very uncomfortable and I didn't genuinely believe them. But on the flight, when I was doing the tapping, I didn't do the full sequence because, you know, <laughs> didn't really want to be tapping like all the way around on an airplane in front of everybody. So I just used this point here and you might want to do something similar. You might want to just pick a tapping point that works for you. Um, so I was saying all of those things to myself and I was saying, you know, in my head, I was saying that I, I love, I love flying. I love how fast it goes. I love how loud the engine is. All those things that I genuinely didn't believe. Um, and then to my surprise on the flight coming home, when the engine started to roar and we, you know, we did speed up to take off, I actually really, really liked it. And I got kind of butterflies of excitement because I'd changed my mind and that's the wonderful thing about the tapping procedure is that you're talking to yourself so you're giving yourself lots and lots of positive self-talk um, but at the same time you are releasing emotions that have become trapped in your energy lines if you like and I know it sounds um, it sounds strange and a little bit unbelievable but it kind of it kind of is unbelievable how well it works um, and I absolutely love flying now. Um, obviously, we can't fly at the moment. Um, but 
it cured my fear, it cured my phobia. And you can do that with any feeling. So you might be thinking of angry feelings, or you might be thinking of worried feelings or sad feelings. So the first part of the process is to face up to them and admit that you feel scared, admit that you feel worried or sad, because there's no shame in that. And sometimes admitting it is part of, um, is the biggest part of the healing because you're kind of admitting that you have this feeling that you're ready to get rid of. You're not spending all of your energy pushing that feeling away and denying it. So when you have faced up to your feeling, that's when you can start to shift your thinking and say nice, positive things to yourself. Um, basically thoughts that you want to think, even if they seem very unbelievable when you're saying them, that's okay because they will be unbelievable to you because you've never believed them before, but you will. And the tapping sequence will help to embed those new thought processes. So I know I've worked with you guys, if I do work with you, I know we've done this kind of thing many, many times and I hope you remember the sessions that we've done um, and how we coach through creating new thought processes for ourselves. And if you're new to it, then you know, you're very, very lucky because you've got a lovely journey ahead of you, learning this technique and using it for just shifting the way you think and the way you feel and then that knocks on to the way you behave and the way that you um, approach your life as well. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you guys later. Bye bye.